Where are you? Where is our leader? Where are you? Where is our leader at this time? At this time when our country is down on its knees, begging, pleading, hurt, angry, frustrated, in pain, begging and pleading with its arms out, just wanting to be heard, begging and pleading and praying for change. Where are you? As Americans, we believe in inclusivity. We believe in acceptance. We believe in human rights. We believe in equality for all. That's what we believe in. So of course, all lives matter. But in this moment right now, this defining, pivotal, explosive moment where, where our country is down on its knees, the floorboards of our country are, are becoming unhinged in this moment, we must say the words, black lives matter. You know, you would be surprised how people in pain would respond when you say to them, I care about you. When you say to them, I'm listening to you, you'd be surprised how people would respond, how Americans would respond. If you say to them, I care about you, I am listening to you. This is our country. You are all my people. And I take full responsibility and full accountability for something that has been hundreds of years of systemic disease. Why am I taking full accountability? Because I am your leader. I'm your leader and I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. The process to change has already begun. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel it across our country. Change is happening. It's gonna take time. We're gonna get beat up. We're gonna take our lumps. It's gonna be blood but the process of change. Yes, this is the rug calling out Trump, but now he is nowhere to be found. The person who sent me this video, this is how he titled it, flashback to the rug calling out President Trump during the riot of 2020. He wanted Trump to talk more and be more caring. Hate crime reached an all-time high in 2023. President Biden had to be forced to give a comment on the recent protests. He is regularly, he regularly takes a lead at noon. The rock is saying nothing. Hi, the rock. Should we expect a video from you soon calling out Biden? People are calling the rock to do something. If you could do this when Trump was president, then why silent now? Because everywhere is upside down. A lot of things are happening in school campuses. The rock is silent. You can clearly see who this man is. I want to say it. This man should just forget about politics. Yeah, he should not venture because he has lost the trust of a lot of people. And another thing, <laughs> if you have to violently squelch, you know, 20 somethings and philosophy and economics professors using maximalist police power, you might not be coming at this from the right side of history. Something to think about. Usually righteous causes don't require massive violent police action to support them. Something to think about. Yes, this is Joy Ri. On the other hand, you know, voicing concern, she is not happy that they had to call police to these school campuses. Joy Ri is not happy about that. <laughs> they could have allowed, you know, they should do anyhow. There is a level of hypocrisy with these people. If this thing was in maybe in favor of Republicans, this same Joy Rio would not stand here to say this. The narrative could have changed drastically, but when it's something they are in support, the tone will always be like this. So it is not strange when I see people like this, hypocrite.
If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor us to do that. It will do you no harm if you share out this video. I recently did this video. Let me replay it so you can see it yourself. ABC 15 was inside the courtroom after ASU students who were arrested one week ago at a pro-Palestinian protest just lost their request for a judge to reverse the university's discipline measures. And a dozen students were suspended, banned from campus, and banned from taking classes, even during during final exams right now, we learned some of the suspended students are seniors, and we just spoke with one student who testified without being able to take those exams. She would fail her classes and would not be able to graduate. <laughs> I'm being restricted from a lot of things right now um, that I that I didn't expect to be um, for, for standing up for something that I believe in. Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, I have, I have family coming in who I have to let them know to, you know, not come to my graduation ceremonies. The judge said the students could not provide enough evidence to support their claims. They suffered, quote, irreparable harm. You want to know my take when it partake to what is going on. Sometimes I don't want to really talk much on these demonstrations going on in school campuses because this topic is actually diverse in such a way that if you say A, you heard B. If you say B, you heard A. That is what I've seen. And I'm that kind of person. I don't like to dangle between the two. I'm always straightforward when it concerns my take on issues. It is wrong. If you want to show your support on what is going on, there are still different ways you can pass a point without blocking classroom, you know, doing a lot of this. There are still other ways that you can pass your message without doing this. I understand Libras are trying up and down. They ask for it. Now, they should be able to contain it. The worst issue is the fact that this is happening during the election period and a lot of young people are deviating, changing their minds. There are people who voted for Biden. If you say to them today, if they will repeat that, they will tell you, I cannot. When I look at recent polls on CNN, it tells me a lot of people believe that Trump can resolve these issues. That is what I saw recently. It should be an eye opener to people to see clearly what is happening. I want to know your take on the comment section. Drop, let me, you know, let's discuss on the comment section what you think after watching this video. God bless you. See you on my next clip. When I read about the college loans, yes. Yeah, so my tax dollars are supporting this Jew hating? No, you I don't think all the so. tents. No, I agree with you completely. Now yeah. people are really upset. By the way, it was never fair. You can't have plumbers and pipe fitters paying for the student loans of doctors and lawyers. It's not fair. In my experience and in the situation we are in right now with the Biden-Harris administration, they cannot be allowed to remain in power. We can agree or disagree on different issues, and it's good, and we should, and we should have those conversations.